Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHex.com video. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Mainframe. Now, Mainframe here, of course, comes with the Ark, but he has his own separate decal set. And this set includes three decal sheets, one, this real large one on foil backing, and two smaller ones on vinyl. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at Mainframe, both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> In bridge mode, straight out of the packaging, mainframe really isn't much. Now, this is the mode that mainframe comes in when you take him out of the arc. Now, right there, there is the bridge, the Autobot Command Center. you got little molded-in details right there. That's where these little tiny figures are supposed to go. And I know it comes with one tiny Optimus, but man, you've got spaces for one, two, three, four, five more. So maybe we'll see those in some future packs. Lots of great molded details all over, but really no color other than right here, which are details for Teletran 1 mode. Now, he does come with this translucent ball that plugs in right there that I can only assume is like a holographic display of whatever planet the Ark is orbiting. So, yeah, not much to look out there. So there you go, guys. Mainframe in bridge mode before and after. Mainframe's bridge mode gets a few new decals thanks to Toy Hacks. The first one you're probably noticing is this gold decal right here with the red Autobot insignia, along with new decals here and here, and decals there along the bottom underneath the bridge. That actually is more for Teletran 1. He gets new chrome decals right there on the front and new blue decals that mimic computer screens there on the two side computers and the one right there. Now you do want to pay attention to the size of these blue decals because the ones on the side are a lot thicker than the center console. There's also a new decal right there. It's kind of a chrome grid and turning the bridge around. There's some new decals right there that also carry over from Teletran 1. So there you go guys, bridge mode after. In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, mainframe looks okay. He's mainly a yellow and gray bot. There's not a lot of details with the guy. Take a closer look at the figure. He's got gray there for the middle of the forehead and mouth plate, a translucent orange visor, down here on the chest, he's got some silver with a white Autobot logo with some nice white outlines and a little yellow disc right there along with another little yellow circle. Ah, down here on the abs, more silver, lots of gray there. Down on the legs, he does have some computer detailing as well as here on the forearms and some gray for the shins. And that's pretty much it. So I really can't wait to see what Toy Hacks can do for mainframe in his robot mode. So there you go, guys. Mainframe in robot mode before and after. Mainframe's robot mode looks so much better now thanks to Toy Hacks. Taking a closer look at the figure, we'll start here with the head. He gets a new blue decal right there for the forehead and a new gold visor decal that covers up all that translucent plastic, but I think that looks so much better. He also gets a new blue mouth plate. Here on the shoulders, you get some red decals there. On the chest, he gets a new gold decal with a red Autobot logo to replace the white one he had earlier, and a little red dot decal 
that goes right there in the center of that yellow circle, which really breaks that up. Here on the stomach area, he gets three yellow decals there. On the forearms, you get yellow decals here and here. And on the side of the shoulders, silver decals. Moving on down to the waist area, you got new blue decals here and here. A yellow decal for the crotch. On the thighs, I really like these. You get these decals that wrap all the way around that really break up all of that yellow. Now moving on down to the legs, a lot of these decals do carry over for Teletran 1 mode. You got gold decals here on the side, new blue decals for the knees, and the shins. And here on the side of the legs, you got a little decal here and there. So there you go, guys. There is mainframe in robot mode after. In Teletran 1 mode, straight out of the packaging, is where mainframe really shines and where most of his details are. Taking a closer look at the computer here, I love the screens. You've got light blue on top of a navy. You've got a map of the earth here, the matrix, some readouts. There's the arc, vector sigma, more readouts there, more readouts up top. Great molded details throughout. I mean, this thing looks really good and very faithful to, well, Teletran 1, which is my background. There's also some details down here. You got more details there and some gray on the bottom that you did see in robot mode with the legs. Also included with mainframe, you do get two golden discs. So you've got right here on the back, you got hieroglyphics that look really good and very faithful to the Beast Wars television show. And then here on the other side, You've got, it looks like records, and you have the Sounds of Earth, I guess, Volume 1 and 2. So those are pretty cool. And you also get the Sky Spy from the very first episode from the Generation 1 cartoon. Lots of nice details. Very nice silver right there, and I love how it's catching my ring light. Let's see. No real paint applications whatsoever, but still, it's a nice addition. So there you go, guys. Mainframe as Teletran 1 before and after. Now, this right here, this is the mode where the Toy Hex decal set really shines. I mean, look at what they've done to Teletran 1. Now, the first decals you're probably noticing are the new screens. And what I like is you have different options. I chose the one that showed Earth there in the middle. You also have the Arc or Optimus Prime. There's also screens up here. This one shows a Vortex. This one shows Cybertron. You have the option of a broken screen, just like the G1 cartoon. And you got options down here as well. Like I've got a readout. It looks like Daniel's exosuit. And a little readout there that looks like the old 80s style spools. You have another option where you can add Crim Zeke. So that's pretty much all the screen options you have. Now let's get into everything else. And man, there is a lot. Starting here at the top, you see the gold decal once again with the red Autobot logo. There's some decals there on top. All of these decals are replaced and they look so good. You got technical readouts, all these little Skittle decals. <laughs> I don't know what else to call those. Just very 80s colorful looking decals right there. It looks like old 80s computers. Moving on down the side of the computer, you got more readout screens, technical readouts, uh, silver decal right there, kind of a sensor or monitor there, a keyboard, which is really cool. More readouts here, and this is one of my favorites for some reason, a real small decal that has a temperature reading, so I do like that. You've got the gold decals here along the sides. More decals here on both sides there. On the base of the computer screen, or the base of Teletran 1, you've got gold decals right along there and there. The screen decals that I showed earlier, along with some technical readouts. And right here, that is Spark Plug's wrench laying there on Teletran 1. So, man, I love what they've done for that. Now, taking a look at the other accessories, 
the golden discs that we had earlier that I mentioned the back of look like records, Toy Hex made them look like records. So we have Dare to be Stupid by Weird Al and The Touch by Stan Bush. Nice 80s throwback right there. And Sky Spy here gets brand new decals for the panels. Now, these panels do come with extra decals that go on underneath because there is some indentations in the mold. So you want to take those decals to fill out the indentations and then put these panel decals over top so they look nice and smooth. And he also gets a decal right there on the bottom. Nice yellow thruster. So there you go, guys. Teletran 1 after. Toy Hacks, once again, really adds some life to a Titan Class figure's secondary bot. I love what they've done for Mainframe here. They've really added some more personality to this character with the robot mode, with all the extra details. But where this set really shines is in Mainframe's Teletran 1 mode. They went above and beyond for that mode, and I absolutely love it. Now, as much as I love the way Mainframe looks in robot mode now, Teletran 1 mode is probably the mode he's going to stay in on my shelf. I also love the little added Easter eggs they add with this figure as far as spark plugs wrench and turning the golden discs into 80s records. That is so cool. Plus, they also gave a little life to Sky Spy. Now, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, I want to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members. It's your continued support that helps this channel grow. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. hoo -ah!